Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah and I hope you choose to stay a while. So for today's video, since we are coming up to my one year YouTube-versary, universe, whatever, you know what I'm saying, I just kind of wanted to talk about where this channel has gone in a year. <clears throat> so we started off just as a fashion channel, just a plus size fashion channel for stuff you could shop for in Canada. Well, that quickly changed into also unboxings and we started with Naya Knickers, which was fun, but we only got like two months of that because the panties really just didn't fit well. And then we moved into Ipsy and Top Box, which we did for a couple of months. And I said goodbye to Top Box because I was just not getting the right kind of beauty type stuff in that box. It wasn't even skincare. I think the last box I got was in February and it had um, a pain cream in it. I am going to link that video above just so you guys can see what I was dealing with when it came to Top Box. Or maybe we'll put the whole um, playlist up here. We'll see. Either way, uh, it's there. You guys can go check it out if you want to. Um, and we got, so I said Ipsy, Top Box, and then when I got rid of Top Box, we started into Look Fantastic, which I have very much enjoyed. And now we also get Glossy Box, which I've been enjoying. When I started the makeup portion of this channel, I had nothing. I had no makeup whatsoever. I was married before I got into the relationship I'm in now and it just he didn't care like but that's beside the point so I didn't wear makeup it wasn't for me we I was the only person making any money in the household so it was just a luxury item I could not afford so makeup is new for me and I have been loving it now I wanted to go through my palettes and just show you guys how far I have come in a year so the first things that I started with was the e.l.f. Cosmet e.l.f. palettes and I started with this guy here which is your new classic so there are lots of nude colors and just you know the stuff that when I was younger is what I wore because I just wasn't that confident with it so that was where I started and then after that one I started realizing you know I really do like color so I got another e.l.f. Cosmetics Alpha one and I got this one which is much brighter much more colorful but I, as I'm looking at it here you can see I haven't really used it that much I need to change that so yeah and then I discovered winners and that they have a lot of products there but I also did a mystery box with Tribe Beauty and I got two palettes in that so I got the city limits from B I Y B I B Y beauty and that's this palette here it's been used a bit more but the colors aren't as bright and in your face as I would like them so it doesn't get used a lot I also got this one by Ruby Max and this is much more where I like to be much brighter much more in your face now it doesn't look like it's been used a lot but believe me this baby's been used so I got those and then we have things that I picked up from winners so Zodiac by BH Cosmetics and that's a lot of shimmers but still again it's a lot of neutral colors in here and they're not as vibrant as I would prefer. I am going to start doing some videos with these palettes again. Um, doing like 10 looks you can make in a palette type thing. From Winners we also, actually a lot of these are from Winners. Just because they're affordable. We've got also BH Cosmetics. This is the Glam Reflection Smoky Palette. So very neutral again but very pretty colors. We have then from CC Cosmetics uh, the Golden Palette which is this guy here and then those are the colors. So 
still pretty neutral, but they're getting much more sparkly and much more in your face. We have Sundown Rose at CC. Now here we start getting into those purple shades. This palette has been used a bit more than the others. I like the purples. And then also from CC we have Electric, Electro, Electro. Now this one I admit hasn't been used as much. I'm not a fan of the packaging on this one. But that's that one there. Also, more, whoops, more recently I have the CC Obsession palette, number five, and that's that. And then my other big score from winners was the Too Faced uh, Razzle, what is this? Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. Definitely this one I like. So that's that. But yeah, I got this on sale at Winners for eight bucks. Can't go wrong. Oops, sorry guys. And then for three bucks, we went back to Elf, and I got two of their mini palettes. These are both in the pink shades. They were like four bucks at Winner at uh, Walmart. Let's fix that camera. Sorry. And then we ordered from Morphe at the start of the pandemic. So I got three Morphe palettes here. I have Blue Yo Way, which I'm pretty sure you guys can guess are a lot of blues. I love this palette. The colors are stunning. And then I have Talk and Flirty, which are these guys. Lots of purples. Absolutely love this palette. And then the one that made me want to go on the Morphe site to check it out was the 24th A Artisty Palette Prep Pass Black. And that's this one here. And I am hoping to get to the Morphe store in Square One very soon and pick up another one. Their new palette, it's got a lot of really pretty pastels and such in it. And then my last palette I have here to show you guys is the ABH one, Nirvana, and that's just that little mini guy there. And then I got at Winners the other day, where'd it go? The Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild. I love it. I wanted it last year and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't pull the trigger. So I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with YouTube and actually be making, do putting on makeup. So I ended up getting this guy for 25 bucks at Winners in comparison to $52 at Sephora. Definitely a steal. And we have our little minis that we've gotten over the last year from Ipsy. So I've got a Nomad here. And it's like this really pretty goldy brown color. I have one from Kaleidoscope Cosmetics, and this is a foil, and this is gold. And then top box, the last one that I actually liked, I got from Floss this pink eyeshadow. So yeah, you can definitely build your makeup collection pretty quickly and pretty easily just by checking out the sales so it's definitely something that is available to anybody no matter what your budget is like the morphe stuff was a bit more expensive elf is not expensive three dollars four dollars say for these little bite-sized palettes you can definitely do two or three looks each from these palettes depending on what you're looking for but the cc stuff and the bh even the big one from BH Cosmetics for the Zodiac palette didn't cost me more than 15 bucks. So it's definitely something that is affordable if you shop and look in the right places. And then when I started, I had no brushes. So I've got brushes here because of Ipsy. These beautiful brushes, right? And then from 
look fantastic. I got this really nice blush brush that I absolutely love. But I also went on Amazon and picked up a set of brushes there. So not expensive brushes, probably not your best quality brushes, but they give you a good idea of what you like and what you're looking for in a brush. And they are more than workable to start with. You don't need to spend 30, 40, 50 bucks on four brushes. It's not necessary. You can, whoa, sorry guys. You can definitely do it without crazy prices. Now I wanna show you guys my sample drawer and my what I have set aside as giveaways. So this is one of my drawers that I have set aside for all my samples that I get through like Top Box Circle and such and for my giveaway. So you can see in my hair, just for my giveaway, I've got a detangler brush, the lip balm, I got some eye creams and some samples here, um, just a lot of stuff, some masks that are just sitting here waiting for a giveaway to happen. And then on the other side, I've got my brush cleaner, which I must say, I love this thing. But I've got all my lip products in here. And I've got my jade roller I got from my, um, this was in the Tri Beauty uh, mystery box that I got. But I've got my um, primers which this one here guys is my favorite I've ever tried I have a link in the descriptions for this guy to go to your the site it is a code so I do get a small commission from it if anyone actually is interested or wants to try it I am in love with this guy but yeah it's just and then we got some powders mascaras but yeah it's definitely a doable thing if it's something you want to do if you want to get into makeup. So that is my makeup collection that I have gathered in a year. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick look to see how far I've truly come when it comes to makeup. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to use one of my first palettes that I got. So we are going to try to work with... Sorry, I just don't want them to fall and drop and break. We are going to work with the e.l.f. Cosmetics one. Now this one does not have a mirror, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, especially when I need to have a mirror to be able to see what I'm doing. But we're going to give it a go, and we're going to see how it works out. So let's toss these off. I'm going to grab one of the other palettes with a mirror in it. So we're going to use the mirror from the Too Faced here and we're going to start by going all over the lid and we are going to use Peachy because it is the lightest shade that they have that does not have any shimmer in it. So we're just going to take that all over. I'm just going to do a quick eye look. I'm not going to do a full face right now because I'm just wanted to do a quick pretty look. Alright so with Peachy done we're going to use the color changer here quickly so that we can just use the brush. So with the color changer all you have to do is swish it around in the sponge type thing and then the brush is clean of the color that you just used. So let's go with something nice and kind of bold. And something we don't do a lot of. So I'm going to go into the moss green here with my finger. So that's that. And we're going to put that in the inner corner. Well that's definitely not nearly as bold as I was hoping for so we're not going to do that. We are going to go ahead and grab the purple here. We're going to go candy. So that's this color over here. And we're going to do the same thing 
on the finger. That's much better. There we go. Alright, so that's on. And then we are going to grab the brush. And we are going to... Now everything in here is very shimmery when it's the purples and pinks and such. So we are going to take quartz, which is very, very pale color here. Actually, no, we're not. You're going to mess around here a little bit more. Because I am not happy with the elf. It's just not as bright in your face as I would like it to be. So since we're being kind of subtle, we're going to try something different. I'm going to take this highlighter and I'm going to brush that on. We're going to try it on the brush and then if that doesn't work, we'll go in with the finger. Oh no, that works. That definitely works. Can you see that? That is gorgeous. I don't know what that was and I'm a little scared to look. So we're going to pop that on the other side, right beside it. Okay, so let's go and grab something from the e.l.f. now. That didn't sound good, guys. <laughs> I don't know what that was. And without my glasses on, I can't see what it was. All right. But we're going to not worry about it right now. We are going to grab the purple here. Uh, it's royal. Royal. I'm going to brush off the brush. And we're going to lay that down right beside it. And I need a mirror. One of these days I'm going to put my contacts in before I start doing this so I can actually see what I'm doing. Without having to get all tied up in my face like this. Okay, that's the look. I really do believe I've come a long way in how I do my eyes and so forth and just having the colors that work best for me. Um, you know, you start off going, oh yeah, I should be wearing brands and stuff. I'm an older lady. I am 41 years old or young. And you hear a lot of ladies my age saying that, you know, we should be wearing neutrals and be wearing more plain and nudes and so forth. I don't want to do that. I find that look really boring and I have no want to put that on my eyes. I want to be bold and out there and just enjoy makeup. Why not? If What's the point if you're not enjoying it? Anyways, that is my rant for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and just a little bit of a tour of the kind of makeup I have accumulated over a year. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful uh, rest of your week. Uh, if you liked the video, please make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe. Like it if you enjoyed and hit the bell if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful day and I know I'm rambling and not making a lot of sense. But anywho, talk to you soon. Bye.